Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching another episode of Restaurant Remake and today I am making a very traditional and yet so popular Chinese takeout dish and that is the chicken and broccoli. Friends, if you have not yet subscribed to my Food Travel Shopping Channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now so you won't miss any future episode on my Restaurant Remake. Be sure to check out my other video here as well. I have stove unboxing as well as cook like the youngs. So at the end of the video, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. That will help me share this video to other viewers like you. So let's get cooking. All right, so here are some of the ingredients to make our um, chicken and broccoli, very famous Chinese takeout. So I'm just gonna continue to uh, cut some of the chicken in this long strip here in long pieces. So I'm using the chicken thigh in this case and if you look at the ingredients to the right here I have one tablespoon of the oyster sauce. I have one and a half teaspoon of olive oil and that is uh, high heat olive oil. So if you don't have the olive oil for high heats, uh, you can use the vegetable oil. And then I have three tablespoons of water and we have one teaspoon of the cornstarch. So we're gonna go ahead and marinate this first. So I'm just finishing cutting the chicken thigh meats here. And the chicken thigh meats here, I have about 12 ounces, okay? So a little bit under a one pound is enough, okay? So you don't need too much of your uh, chicken meat here. So once you cut it into long strip like this here, you actually have a lot, surprisingly. All right, so we are going to marinate this first and I'm gonna show you how to marinate it. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my oyster sauce here. I'm just gonna scoop that in. I'm gonna add the water in. So let's go ahead and give this a good mix here. Okay, we're also gonna add in the cornstarch and finally the oil. Okay, give this a good stir here until everything is well combined. Okay, so we're gonna marinate this for 10 minutes. So we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna take a look at what are some of the other ingredients. Okay, so let's take a look at the ingredients for our famous brown sauce here. We are using two third cups of the chicken broth here. So this is a low sodium chicken broth and I'm gonna put it into the mixing bowl. Now you want this chicken broth to be warm so you can go ahead and microwave it for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our one and a half teaspoon of sugar. Okay, so let's give that a little stir here first. So then let the sugar melt. Okay, next we are going to add in one and a half tablespoon of the soy sauce here. And then also we're gonna add in two teaspoon of the dark soy sauce. So this is one and a half teaspoon, uh, one and a half tablespoon of the regular soy sauce, and that's the light soy sauce. Then we're gonna add in two teaspoon of the dark soy sauce. Okay, then we have one tablespoon of the oyster sauce here. Okay, give this a good mix. Okay, then we're gonna add in our one teaspoon of the sesame oil. And then finally, we're gonna add in our one eighth teaspoon of the white pepper. Okay, give it a good mix and we're gonna set this to the side. Okay, so next I have about 11 and a half ounce of broccoli, so around 11 ounce. Go ahead and weight them. It's easier that way. So I have purchased broccoli that is already pre-cut. Okay, so we are going to blanch them first. But all the other ingredients for the stir fry, we have uh, two minced glove of garlic. 
uh, we have the Xiaohang wine, cooking wine, and that is one tablespoon that. We have two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna open it up with water here in a second. And finally, I'm just gonna kind of grind some of the ginger here. And you don't need a whole lot of ginger here. Okay, so roughly if you can get half a teaspoon in, that's fine. So in a lot of Asian cooking, there's always, always, always ginger. Okay, so you can set all these ingredients to the side. We are now going to use our uh, stove perfect pan and we're gonna go ahead and boil some water first and branch the broccoli first. Okay, so I have some water into my stove perfect pan here and we are going to um, wait until it's boiled and then we're gonna blanch the broccoli. Okay, so the water is ready here. We are going to add some oil here. Okay, we're gonna put this in and we're gonna blanch it for a minute. So a minute if you want it to be crisp, okay? If you want the broccoli to be softer, you can do two minutes. All right, so almost two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the larger one a little bit. So I'm gonna scoop out all the smaller one here first. So just transfer it over to a bowl. All right, so now you're gonna empty the water out. All right, so go ahead and turn the heat back on and then now we're gonna wipe this dry. All right. Okay, we're gonna add in a table, one and a half tablespoon of oil. Okay, we're gonna heat this up first. So give it a good minute here to preheat the wok here. Okay, half the chicken ready on the side here. We are gonna stir fry the chicken first. And we're gonna cook it about 90% thorough. And then we're gonna scoop it out. All right, so we're gonna add in our chicken now. All right, so stir it around here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure it's gonna be cooked thoroughly, about 90% full cook, okay, so then have the clean bowl ready here on the side. We are going to transfer the chicken over to the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna start scooping them out. Okay, so we're gonna add another tablespoon of oil here. Okay, we're gonna add in the ginger here. Lower the heat to a medium. All right, so add in the garlic as well. Give a quick stir here. Okay, so now we're gonna deglaze our pan here with our shell hang cooking wine. And then you're gonna pour in the sauce. Okay, during this step, use some water to open up the cornstarch here, so about two tablespoons. If you have a little bit more than two tablespoons, that's also okay. 
Okay, so there's some oyster sauce here on my spatula, so I'm just gonna scoop it over here. All right. All right, so we wanna bring the sauce to a boil a little bit, so simmer, basically. Okay, so we're going to pour in our cornstarch with water here, and we're gonna thicken up the sauce. So pour half in first, stir it, and see if you like uh, the consistency here. All right, so I'm gonna keep pouring, and I just want it to be thick enough, but not too thick. So this is good, all right? So this thickness is good for my stir fry. All right, so now we're gonna add in back in our chicken with all the liquid as well. So pour that in. Okay, give it a little stir here. All right, so because the chicken has some liquid here, right? So I am gonna pour in a little bit more of my cornstarch with the water here. All right, just to thicken it slightly, back up. All right, so I really want the sauce to grab the chicken and the broccoli at the end. All right, and then now we're gonna toss in our broccoli in and mix it really, really well. And there it is, this is our chicken and broccoli. All right, so now we're ready to plate. All right, so once we finish with our chicken and broccoli, now it's for the plating. So let me go ahead and pick this up. And I am going to pour it into my nice plate here. Mm-mm, good, all right. Well, there's my chicken and broccoli. It's gonna go really well with a bowl of rice. At the end of every restaurant remake, I am going to try out my dish. So let me just pick up a nice chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sauce here, man. All right, so ready for my try. Mmm, the chicken is so tender. Definitely use the chicken thigh, which I have here. It's just absolutely perfect. The sauce is very good. Okay, I'm gonna try out a broccoli here. Okay. Mmm. So good. The broccoli is not entirely too soft. You can still chew it. And that's what I like about my broccoli. Like, if it's too hard, okay, for a stir fry, that's rough, okay? Uh, but if it's too soft, it's just like mushy, and you're like, what are you eating? This is like the broccoli al dente. Okay, so if you have enjoyed watching this video on my Chinese takeout version of the chicken and broccoli, go ahead and subscribe to the Food Travel Shopping channel, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. That will help me spread this video and share this video content to other viewers like you. So thanks for watching, and this is just another restaurant remake.